know the Mets season ended in disappointment after winning 101 games during the regular season. They failed to win the National League East, failed to get out of the wild card round in the NL playoffs. With that, as we get set to ring in 2023 later on this week, the response by Mets owner Steve Cohen has been extraordinary. They've signed Justin Verlander, Jose Quintana, and Kodai Senga for the starting rotation. They added reliever David Robertson to the back end of the bullpen. They swooped in late and signed Carlos Correa to a 12-year contract. They've also brought back center fielder Brandon Nimmo on an eight-year deal. Cohen is the richest singular owner in all of Major League Baseball. Forbes estimates his worth at $17 billion. As it stands right now, the Mets payroll is right around $384 million. Throw in the CBT, and you're looking at a total of $495 million. He has spent over $800 million this offseason. Super agent Scott Boris said Major League Baseball needs Goliath, saying Cohen is good for the game, and labeled him as Steve Kong. After years of watching other teams spend like major market teams and the Mets failing to do so, they now have an owner in Cohen that is more than happy to. This is a passion play for Cohen. He said as much when his deal to buy the team was finalized. His spending is why some other owners were fearful of approving his ownership bid. As fans, you celebrate, embrace his passion for the Mets and baseball as you often get concerned that owners judge success or failure just by looking at the bottom line. He doesn't. He wants championships and will continue to spend and add talent to put the Mets in a position to win. How refreshing. Oh, my, the times have changed in Queens. Until next time, New York, I'm Mark Malusis.